In a previous lesson, we proved that a tournament is transitive if and only if it has no cycles. And I'll leave a link to that lesson in the description. So transitive tournaments don't have any cycles, but what about other types of tournaments? For example, what about strongly connected tournaments? Well, it turns out, as we'll be proving today, that every vertex of a strong, non-trivial tournament lies on a triangle, which is a three cycle. And remember that a directed graph being strong means that for any two vertices u and v, there is a uv path in the graph and a vu path. So you can get from any one vertex to any other vertex. I'll leave a link in the description to my lesson going over strongly connected digraphs in detail. But again, we're going to assume that V is a vertex in a strong, non-trivial tournament, and we'll prove that V lies on a triangle. And like I said, a triangle is a three cycle. That's what that means. So we're just proving that every vertex in a strong, non-trivial tournament lies on a three cycle. Give it a try yourself before watching the rest of the lesson. It's a pretty straightforward, direct proof. Note that we have to specify the tournament is non-trivial because the trivial graph on a single vertex is technically a strong tournament and it certainly has no triangles. For two vertices, the only tournament on two vertices looks something like this. So there are no strong tournaments on two vertices, so this theorem is not saying anything about those. The first time this theorem gets to do any work is when we have a tournament with three vertices. Here's an example of a strong tournament on three vertices, and very clearly, each vertex lies on a triangle. But enough of that, let's get into the proof. Since V is a vertex in a strong, non-trivial tournament, what's something we can say about V? Well, certainly the out degree of V is greater than or equal to one. If V had no arcs leaving it, then there'd be no way to get from V to any other vertex, and that would contradict us having a strong tournament. Similarly, the in degree of V has to be at least one because if there was no arc going into V, then there would be no way to get to V, which again would contradict this being a strong tournament. It's strongly connected, so we can get from any vertex to any other vertex. So the out degree and in degree of V are both greater than or equal to one. So if we let U be the set of vertices in our tournament that V is adjacent to, then we can say that U is not empty. Because again, the out degree of V is at least one, so V is adjacent to at least one vertex. So U is not the empty set. Similarly, if we say that W is the set of vertices in our tournament that V is adjacent from, then again, we can say that W is not empty. Again, that's because the in degree of V is at least one, so it's adjacent from at least one vertex. And why don't we just go ahead and color code these sets for kicks. We'll make the set U orange, and we can make the set W a light blue. Now that we've got colors, let's go ahead and make a simple diagram representing our situation. Here is our arbitrary vertex V. This is the set U of all vertices that V is adjacent to. This is the set W of all vertices that are adjacent to V. So they're the vertices that V is adjacent from. And perhaps it's also worth reminding you that although U and W are not equal to the empty set, their intersection is the empty set. That's because remember, this is a tournament. So each pair of vertices is adjacent in exactly one direction. A vertex can be adjacent from V or adjacent to V, but it can't be both. So U and W have no vertices in common. Check the description for a link to my lesson introducing tournaments if you need more of a recap. Now, even though V isn't adjacent to any of the vertices in W, since this tournament is strong, we know there exists a path from V to any vertex in W. 
So we could say, take any vertex little w from the set w, we know there exists a vw path. So maybe we draw a vertex w in the set, and in yellow, we can draw that path. And now with the help of our picture, you can see the triangle that we have forming. Remember, we're trying to prove that V lies on a triangle, a three cycle. The idea is that, remember, V is not adjacent to any of the vertices in W. So if we start at V, in order to get into the set W, at some point there's going to have to be an arc from a vertex in U to that vertex in W. So we know there exists a VW path, but since V isn't adjacent to any vertices in the set W, that path needs to contain an arc UW for some U in the set U. And so maybe we put that vertex right there. That's the vertex little u from which we're able to get into the set w. Again, we couldn't get to w directly from v, so we must have come through some vertex in u. There must be an arc uw. And now, do you see our triangle? All we have to do is start at v, then since by definition v is adjacent to every vertex in the set u, we know that V is adjacent to this vertex U that's on that arc we just pointed out. So we can go from V to U, and then of course U is adjacent to our vertex W, but by definition, every vertex in the set W is adjacent to V. So from W, we can finish the triangle by going back to V. And there is our triangle, or three cycle containing V. So we've taken an arbitrary vertex from a strong non-trivial tournament and shown that it lies on a triangle. Thus, every vertex of a strong non-trivial tournament lies on a triangle. Guess whatever sinks your ship Lost at sea and ill-equipped Say